Okay, so you and I and everything we know about like this apple are made of what we call matter, normal matter. But there's another possibility in the universe, which is antimatter, kind of an equal but opposite version of the matter that we know and love, which presumably was created in equal amounts at the Big Bang. The problem is these two things don't coexist, and for some reason, only this one survived the Big Bang. So we have a lot of questions about this stuff. Is it really the same? Is it the same when you look at it closely? Does it behave in exactly the same way every time? So one way to think about this is look at the gravitational effects on these two things. Newton told us what happens when we drop this. What happens if we drop this one? Until today, nobody knew. We use the simplest atom, anti-hydrogen. Number one, anti-atom. And what we've done in our experiment is to create some of these atoms, trap them using magnetic fields to keep them away from normal matter so they don't annihilate. So we hold them in kind of a magnetic bottle and then release them and see what happens. The answer, as far as we know right today, is that these two things will fall in the same way within the error of the experiment. We hope to do better experiments in the future to make sure that they're really the same, but this is the first observation, direct observation, that these two things will fall in the same way in the gravitational field of the Earth. And that's what we're celebrating here today.